Before COVID, intelligence services colluded with big tech to have Trump suspended off Twitter. Yes, the same platform which hosted the Taliban and Ayatollah deaf to Israel Khomeini, they thought the president crossed the line when he tweeted on Jan 6th, quote, remain peaceful, no violence, respect the law and our great men and women in blue. That's a quote. You may be thinking now that Trump is a populist. You are right. He didn't accept the 2020 elections and he should have. So should Hillary in 2016, so should Brussels, and so should Westminster in 2016, and so too should Congresswoman Pelosi, instead of saying the 2016 election was, quote, hijacked. Quote, hijacked. Thank you. What about the mainstream media? Let me read you some mainstream media headlines. The New Yorker the day before the 2016 election. The case against democracy. The Washington Post the day after the election. The problem with our government is democracy. The LA Times, June 2017. The British election is a reminder of the perils of too much Democracy. Vox, June 2017. The two eminent political scientists say the problem with democracy is voters. New York Times, June 2017. The problem with participatory democracy is the participants. Mainstream media elites are part of a class who don't just disdain populism, they disdain the people. If the Democrats had put half their energy into delivering for the people, Trump wouldn't even have a chance in 2024. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have a chance. You've had power for four years. From the fabricated steel dossier to trying to take him off the ballot in both Maine and Colorado, the Democrats are the anti-Democrat party. All we need now is the Republicans to come out as the pro-monarchist party. Ladies and gentlemen, populism is not a threat to democracy, but I'll tell you what is. It's elites ordering social media to censor political opponents. It's police shutting down dissenters, be it anti-monarchists in this country or gender-critical voices here. Or last week in Brussels, the National Conservative uh, Movement. I'll tell you what is a threat to democracy. It's Brussels, D.C., Westminster, the mainstream media, big tech, big pharma, corporate collusion, and the Davos cronies. The threat to democracy comes from those who write off ordinary people as deplorable. The threat to democracy comes from those who smear working people as racists. The threat to democracy comes from those who write off working people as populists. And I'll say one last thing. This populist age can be brought to an end at the snap of a finger. All that needs to be done is for elites to start listening to, respect it, respecting, and, God forbid, working for ordinary people. Thank you.